Welcome, my name is Sema. Today I will give a brief overview of EBA platform and then I will present you EBA invoice automation process. EBA is a transactional content management platform. It comprises several important modules, including workflow and document management, record management, capture and dashboard. EBA gives you the ability to streamline and automate business process. In this demo, we will see how does it work and also we will learn how we can use different EBA modules and options in a solution for your need. Invoice automation solution includes many useful modules and options to automate invoice processes. And with this integrated process, you can handle large volumes of invoices easily and minimize invoice processing time. Let's see what it is for these modules and options. MIS means Mail Integration Server and with this feature we can get invoice documents via email and save in EBA server automatically. And also we have capture module in this process. It is for to digitalize the invoice documents by getting from them the folder that is fed by MIS. After digitalized operation, we can capture, we can start workflow process automatically. Workflow management system is used to validate invoice fields from SAP and reflect the application processes across the business, business unit. For example, accounting and purchase owner, we can route this process with the different departments according to the need. And uh, these departments can review the data and uh, can get some approvals to save the invoice data in SAP. We will use uh, screen interface for end users and uh, the end users uh, can see the manual and automatic verification and uh, can review all uh, match details and all invoice information in the screen and also uh, they can attach uh, some documents to the process and uh, the other departments can uh, review these uh, attachments uh, that uh, added from the different departments. Also we have access control, we have uh, advanced uh, security uh, mechanism uh, in the platform so we can manage the different authorization levels for the process. We can give uh, some view or edit uh, or download or uh, review authorities to the different departments and uh, also we have SAP connectivity uh, in this invoice automation scenario. Uh, we can gather related data that is necessary for validation. Uh, also at the end of the process, the, this data will, will be pushed to the SAP with the invoice document link. And uh, finally, we have content repository module. Uh, we are using it for to save documents in the document management system as a digital library. Also SAP can use this digital library as its own content repository. And uh, what does it mean when uh, a document is attached to the SAP record? It can save in the EBA document management system. It can be saved. We have, uh, we have a feature like this. Also image document link that is attached on the EBA workflow can be reviewed on SAP screen. Let's start a invoice automation process and uh, see the, all details of this scenario. Uh, as I said, uh, I will start with MIS integration and I will send uh, some invoice documents to the system like a vendor and I will use an email account uh, to send these invoice documents. And uh, we created a demo uh, email account. You can use uh, your email account for this process in your production environment. So I will attach the, some invoice documents from the local system. I have two different scenarios uh, for this process. One of them is matched and uh, one of them is unmatched scenario. Matched means uh, all fields are correct and all fields uh, will be validated from SAP. And the other one has uh, an un some unmatched fields. and uh, 
they will not be validated from SAP PO. Uh, so uh, the second one uh, will be sent to the accounting user review. And the match one will be routed to the SAP directly because there is no need to touch the, uh, that invoice uh, document uh, because all fields are matched. I'll send these invoices to the system and system will save these documents uh, to the server side automatically. And uh, we need to start the capture operation after this step. And uh, I will show the capture interface to you. Actually, there is no need to use this interface always. Uh, we can uh, schedule it and system uh, can catch these invoice uh, files from the server uh, library. and. Uh, can start the capturing digitalizing operation automatically. Uh, the invoices that I sent to the uh, email account uh, is saved here, as you see. We have two new invoice documents here, and we will capture them. Let's start the capture operation. Just I want to show you the interface of uh, capture and I will use just two of them. I'll use the last invoice documents to digitalize operation. Yes, we can see the invoice documents that are captured and uh, the all fields are digitalized from the system. Uh, as you see, one of them uh, has an empty field uh, like render name, uh, so uh, it will route it to the accounting user. Just we need to complete job with this button and then we will uh, save these documents to the document management system with the archive button and then the process will be started automatically after this click. If you have any different kind of uh, vendor invoice uh, you just need to upload that invoice template to the system and uh, you can uh, you can upload that uh, template uh, to the system with this configuration tab and you can configure the rules, validation rules or uh, index templates or archiving profiles here and uh, you can uh, use that uh, templates for that process also. Now uh, the invoice processes are started automatically. Let's see that process in the uh, web interface. Uh, in this scenario, uh, the unmatched uh, invoice process will be routed to the accounting user. And Nicole is accounting user and uh, we will review this process with uh, this user. And uh, this is the end user interface of EBA. And the users can uh, customize the dashboard uh, in the screen, and uh, they can uh, they can review the processes easily with approvals menu, and also they can enter these waiting processes from the workflow management tab. Uh, they can enter this process from here, and um, there is there is a process uh, that is waiting for uh, Nicole user action. Uh, we need to enter the detail of the process and we can see the details, all uh, data and document details in the uh, in this screen. As you see, uh, we have an unmatched field like supplier code and the uh, but the other, all other details uh, we can see in the screen. Uh, for example, uh, the buyer name, 
and the PO number, PO date, invoice number, and all header details. Also, items details we have in the screen. And uh, we can review the uh, invoice attachments. We can uh, capture invoice documents uh, with this link. Uh, and also, we have uh, validation message, the match details uh, here. Uh, and we can review the uh, details of the message with the status icons. And uh, as you see, the match status is not OK. So we need to, uh, we need to choose the correct supplier. Uh, we can understand it with this message. We need to choose correct supplier. And uh, we can learn which, uh, which one is correct supplier from this big list. We are getting uh, this data from SAP because we have a purchase order number, so we can get the correct supply from SAP. And the purchase uh, the accounting user can choose it from this pick list. So uh, all fields are matched now after this uh, vendor correction. And uh, we need to choose also purchase owner for the next step, and accounting user can understand which which user uh, is the purchase owner. Uh, accounting user uh, can review the mm, details of items. As you see, we have laptop and PDAs items in the invoice. So uh, the Nicole can decide the correct uh, department is IT department. So she will choose an IT user from the organization data. As you see, uh, there's an IT guy here uh, in the head of his IT department. So I will change it. And we will send this process to the purchase owner approval. Uh, in this scenario, uh, also we uh, define the approval limits for the users. Uh, it means uh, if uh, the approval limit is not enough for this uh, process, for example, we uh, our invoice amount uh, is uh, 360,079. Dollar, uh, but uh, the main uh, limit is just uh, 1,000, so it's not enough. After main approval, uh, we will send uh, this process to the manager of main automatically. Uh, let's approve this process with main IT user, and uh, let's see the next step. I will log out from the system and I will enter uh, it with an admin user. And I can change user uh, in the admin account. We have a login as mechanism, and we can change uh, user, and we can uh, get uh, some actions on behalf of the other users. So I will change user with many Maran. Now the current user is many Maran, and I will get the necessary actions on behalf of him. As you see, the management has one waiting approval in the system, and uh, he can review the details of invoice. Like accounting user, and also he can add uh, a comment uh, to this process. For example, after the reviewing, he can say. It's 
And the other department users can review these comments uh, after the at the end of the process. And he can approve it. But as I said, the minimum limit is not enough. So uh, the next step is the manager approval. Uh, the David is the manager of many marines, and uh, you can see after purchase owner approval, uh, the process went to the manager approval. So we will change the user with David. And David's limit, uh, approval limit, is enough uh, for this amount. So uh, this is the last step of this process. And uh, after the David's approval, the invoice data and link will uh, push to the SAP system directly. Yes, as you see, the workflow status is uh, approved now, and uh, we can uh, review this data in the SAP screen uh, with, uh, with this document number. Uh, this document number and financial year is coming from the SAP site, and the uh, validation message uh, can be reviewed here uh, automatically. So we can review this data in SAP with this document number. Uh, let's see it from the SAP interface. As yes, these all fields are uh, pushed here from the EBA workflow management system, uh, you can see all details of invoice here, vendor information, item details, also uh, the purchase amount, invoice date, uh, and other details you can see. And also uh, we can review the attachments uh, here and uh, as you remember we have an invoice document in the EBA process and we can review it in the EBA interface also we can review this uh, attachment uh, from the SAP interface because we used uh, content repository integration in this scenario so the SAP users can uh, review the invoice document here easily uh, the content repository mechanism provides us this uh, feature. As I said, the other uh, matched process is pushed to the SAP also. We can review uh, all invoice processes with an archive, uh, with an EBA archive. I will show you the all invoice process with the archive. We can create this archive easily. Yes. We can create a document and process archive with uh, the EBA integration manager. Uh, you just need to create a some queries and uh, you can do it drag and drop uh, mechanism and uh, you can create these reports easily with the EBA integration manager so we can review all invoice uh, details from here and also we can review the flow details uh, 
in the screen by clicking the details uh, we can review flow history and we can see the document also we can review the comments about this process and uh, we can give the authorization uh, access to the related users in the organization um, let's see the benefits of this process the main goal of EBA is uh, to streamlining invoice processes with the mail integration server capture SAP integration workflow and document management and content repository modules all these features are combined in this process and uh, it provides you efficiency and uh, cost reduction and also uh, we can ensure the data document collection validation and movement efficiently as you see in a single screen you can review all data and documents we can uh, digitalize all uh, these fields automatically and we can review it in in a single screen also we can review all uh, validation results here and uh, we can send this data to SAP and we can get validation message from SAP in the same screen also we can reduce invoice processing cycle times with this process we can increase company productivity by speed, speeding up this process and uh, we can uh, maybe we can solve the problems about the process uh, by reviewing these details of uh, invoice processes and we can create maintain role based processes uh, with EBA platform also uh, we can avoid business delays and improve vendor relationships with this invoice automation and uh, we can increase process performance and save costs because uh, full steps will be automatically just you, you need to route um, unmatched invoices to the related departments the matched uh, ones uh, will be pushed to the SAP directly so there is no need to touch them and uh, you will avoid business delays and you will improve your processes with this uh, solution I hope this video has provided to you an overview of EBA and the invoice automation process and uh, it helps you to see what EBA can do for your organization. Thank you for your attendance and please contact with me for your any questions about EBA platform.